Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today, I am doing another challenge against Squid Nugget. Today, we are doing the Googly Challenge, and the Googly Challenge was suggested by Friendship is Magic in the comments of one of my past challenges, and it's a very simple challenge. Uh, basically, we need to get all of the loot uh, that the Googlies drop. So we need to get one piece of gunpowder from a creeper, rotten flesh, a bone, a spider eye, an ender pearl, uh, a blaze rod, a ghast here, and some magma cream. So that's one drop uh, from all of the different Googlies there are on the Xbox edition. Well, almost all of them. We're not getting a slime ball, uh, just because we think it would be way too hard and take way too long to find a slime. And also, uh, of course, no uh, ender dragon egg, because that would be ridiculously difficult. And there's only one. So uh, I'm going to be trying to get all of these. And at the same time, Squid's going to be trying to, to get them and put them in the, the item frames over there and this is as always uh, a brand new survival world i've just loaded it up and uh, built these nice little houses but apart from that uh, we have no idea what this uh, world is going to be like uh, we do have nice little houses down here though so i got my house here and uh, squids is down there and we do have some basic supplies so we've got some stone tools and some torches and of course some sandwiches and today we're going with the uh, the fish sandwiches again they were quite nice and this is very important for me because this is the decider we did one best of three and squid nugget won it and then we did another best of three uh, which is this one and uh, we've won one each and so this is going to be the the decider uh, so basically if squid wins uh, then that means uh, he has won completely overall all of the challenges. And if I win, uh, that means we go for a, uh, a deciding best of three uh, to see who the, the overall uh, winner is going to be. And uh, Squid seems to be a little bit frozen right now. Are you okay there, Squid? Are you, are, you, are you awake? Are you conscious? I think he's there in deep concentration. He's in trance. Okay, he's nodded. Right, we're going. We are beginning the googly challenge then. Right, the nod means we set off. And I could either go straight to the nether and uh, go and try and get this stuff from there. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and head straight to a mine and uh, see if I can find some iron. Because, obviously, we're going to be taking out a lot of googlies. Uh, that means, um, yeah, it's going to be dangerous. And uh, I really don't want to die. And so it would be good to maybe get an iron sword and a bit of iron armor just to uh, just to protect myself so uh, oh no I thought that was going to be a cave down there if I just try and find the entrance of a cave well getting a dog could be quite handy as well but then again I, I suppose I don't really want to be uh, wasting my bones is there a cave entrance here also because it's day uh, going down in the inner cave would increase the chances of me uh, coming across some googlies. Is there not an entrance to a cave? Oh, here we go. Down here, I have found an entrance to a cave. So as long as I get uh, at least uh, two pieces of iron, uh, then that would be enough for an iron sword. And then I guess I could go and uh, head straight down uh, into um, into the nether. And here we go. There is some iron immediately right here. So once I've got two pieces, uh, that's going to be enough for an iron sword. I might go down just a tiny little bit uh, just to see what I can find down there. It looks like all of the blocks are reappearing, which isn't very helpful but there we go I've managed to, to gather up all of this iron if I go and break these blocks down here as well and uh, let's go head down a, a little bit deeper see if there is going to be more spare iron nope that is all of the iron there is so this will do this is actually fine all I really needed uh, was an iron sword I don't want to spend too much time down here so I'm going to go uh, back to the the house and I'm going to go and put this in a furnace and uh, then I'm going to have an iron sword and then I'm going to head straight to the nether uh, seeing as it is daytime because uh, it's going to be a while till the googly spawn actually I'm going to have a quick look at the sun just to see uh, what time it is because it wasn't morning as we started uh, so as far as we know uh, it might actually be coming night quite soon in which case I might actually just stay on the, the surface for a little bit uh, so what do I need to get then so skeletons and zombies are going to be very easy creepers will be easy enough <laughs> the only real tough ones I guess would be endermen because endermans are pretty strong and then also in the, the nether getting ghast and blaze are going to be uh, pretty tricky as well and I'm getting quite hungry here as well I really want one of the the dogs the dogs would actually make it really easier when facing things but they they can't follow you into the never and i think the house was back up here actually let's have a, a quick look on my map and see where the house is so i don't get lost okay so we're kind of right down in the bottom of the world as always uh, slightly to the right so if i do end up going wandering i should be able to to find my way back home and where's squid nugget gone i reckon he's charged straight into the never seen as it is day and the sun's quite high as well i think i might uh, follow him into the never for a little bit and uh, maybe try and get some of the easy stuff there and then head back here so uh, oh I need a crafting table actually don't I right I need to, to cut down a tree uh, why, why why is there never a tree nearby when you need one here we go there's a few trees down here so let me just go and uh, grab just a few uh, sticks I'm gonna make sure I've just got a few spare in case I need some later on so there we go I got myself a bit of wood oh there's squid nugget squid nugget has just come back and 
He's not even moving. Is he, is he playing? Is he doing? Oh, he's, oh, he's got stuff. He's, he's got stuff from the, the never already. I suddenly thought they, he hadn't actually left from there. Oh, what's he got in already? He's already got like mag magma cream and stuff. He's already got all the never stuff already. Okay, now I am actually very much panicking already. How has he got that so fast? In the time it took me to get some iron, he managed to go and grab all of that stuff. All right, let's go and shove the, the iron straight in there and have a bit of cake. And so what did he manage to get? What's he doing now? He's ruining the place. He's just digging holes. So he's got a gas tier and magma cream already. He hasn't got a blaze rod though, which means he is going to have to go back inside of the nether. I don't know what he's doing. Why is he digging a hole? Is he, is he trying to set a trap for the googlies? Right, and it is going to be night soon, so I'm going to take a very quick trip into the nether and just get some of the easy stuff, and I might have to come back a little bit later on. So here we go. I've managed to get myself an iron sword. Uh, hopefully he's not going to steal the rest of the iron. If I shut the door, hopefully he won't see it there. Right, let's go and head straight into the nether then. And then we're going to spend just a little bit of time in here and uh, to see what we can find. See if we can get... Oh, here's a gas. There's a gas right here. Right, here we go. I don't have a um, I don't have a bow and arrow, so it being so low is very useful. Oh, no, come down. Don't fly away. Right, if I try and hit the fireballs at it, I might be trying to take it out. I know, but I didn't hit it, and this is really hurting me. Right, just keep swinging. Oh, I can't hit any of them back. He's, he's too high. He's too high. Right, if I go and stand about... Here we go. He's coming down. Jump, jump. Kid him. Oh, that was so close. I don't think I've really got any blocks to, to pile up. I could could use wood, but that would probably all end up burning. Right, he's coming down low again. He's coming down low. Can I get him? Can I get him? Here we go. I can hit him. I can hit him. No, I just about couldn't hit him. Right, let's go and try and gather up some of this never rack, and I can use this to, to try and pile up. And then when he comes down low again, I might be able to try and get him. And I want to get some never rack and some fish at hand in case I need to, to have something to eat to get my hunger back up. I'm okay for now. Oh, nobody's firing it right at me. Oh, here we go. Here's a great chance. He's right down really low. Come on, I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. No, I just about couldn't get him but oh no he's right down low now here we go here we go here we go i heard him i hurt him there right if i go and pile up a bit once he comes back down low it's a really weird never actually it's really sort of flat and open having a bow and arrow would help me out big time here right he's coming back down low again can i get him can i get him can i get him right, i need to pile up if i can he moves so quick though it's, it's like he knows what i'm trying to do every time he gets near he just a little bit flies out of reach I've got that one weak though. I've got a good hit on him. Oh no, no, I'm on fire. He set me on fire. Oh, there's a little magma cube down here. All right, let's have something to eat. Let's go hide down here if we can. Try and stay alive. I don't want to die this early on. Right, there we go. I'm okay. All right, let's stay safe here for a bit and try and get my health out. And I can hear, I can hear a magma cube somewhere around here. Oh, look, there's a magma cube down here. All right, let's try and take this guy out and see if we can get some magma cream. And then if I get the magma cream, I'm going to be right on the uh, the same level and squid. Oh no, they're really hurting me. I'm not going to get killed by one of these things, am I? <laughs> I'd rather get killed by the gas than one of these. Oh look, they're all falling down there right past me. I do want to be careful because I am very hurt, but it would be good to, to try and take them out if I can. Right, if I break my way down here a little bit, I can go back down low. And let's see if we can take out one of these magma cubes uh, to try and get the magma cream. And uh, then I'm going to head back to the surface because it should be just about to become night now. Did, I, did any of them drop any? Uh, no. No magma cream here. Right, let's head back up and try and finish off that gas that we hurt and hopefully come across some more magma cubes. And uh, then, as I said, head back to the, the surface while it's night because that's going to be uh, the best time to, to take out all of the stuff up there. And oh, no, I can't believe Squid managed to get those stuff so fast. He is absolutely blazing ahead. He wants to make sure he wins because once he wins, that is it. That is the, the end of these challenges and he's going to be the overall victor. So I really don't want that to happen. And the ghast is, seems to be on his side. Come on, just fly down low. Where is it? Where's the one shooting at me? Oh, he's shooting at all the pigmen as well, right? He's all the way over there. All right, let's go and try and make my way to him. There's a pigmen there just standing in some fire and doesn't even seem to care. Right, let's try and hit it back. Why can't I hit it back? I'm sure that was good timing. Oh, there we go. I hit it back. Nowhere near him, but that will... That was uh, better than it hitting me, I guess. Right, let's try and go right underneath it and try and hit some of these back. Oh, he's coming down low. He's coming down low. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? Oh, no, I'm falling down into the hole. Right, chase after him. Chase after him. Uh, I, could, I could try and pile up again, but he moves so quick. And once I'm, I'm piled up somewhere, it means I can't dodge him. Right, he's down low again. Oh, that was so close. That was so unbelievably close. I don't want to let him go. While I'm here, I might as well go and try and take him out. I don't want to leave while, while I'm here. And oh, no, I'm going back into the fire again. I don't want to get set on fire. Oh, come on. Come down here, Ghast. Come say hello. I'm not going to hurt you too much. <laughs> the thing is, I know I'm going to take him out and he's not even going to end up dropping a ghast here. I know just my luck. I'm going to take him out. The problem is this whole area is getting so set on fire now. 
It's getting really hard to, to walk around looking up. Oh, no, he's down low now. Jump. Oh, I tried to get a big jump to get him. Right, let me try and pile up a bit, see if I can get him. Is he up around here somewhere? Oh, no, see that? As soon as I fly up, he just goes and goes off somewhere else. Oh, I hit one back there. Right, let's go try and gather up some of these never bricks again and go and charge in after him. I'm getting to the point now where I'm thinking I might give up on this guy and go back to the surface because it is going to be night now and I know Squid Nugget's going to be going around getting everything else. Oh, he's going back down low again now. This is a good chance to go and charge in. Oh, nobody's goes. Ah, oh, see that as soon as I get close again, he goes straight back up. Oh, look, there's two of them. Oh, come on, I've got to be able to get one of them. There we go, there we go. I got one. He dropped a ghast here. Where did it go? It's down here. There we go. I've got one. I've got a ghast here. Right, okay, I just need to try and stay alive. <laughs> I don't need to take out this other one, but I also don't want it to take out me at the same time. Right, if I can see a magma cube, then I should hopefully be uh, on uh, even terms with Squid Nugget. But for now, I think I might just head straight back through the, the Never Portal and try and stay alive. Look how much of a mess I've <laughs> made made here. Like, I'm going to have to come back here anyway uh, to try and get the blaze rods, and uh, so is squid as well, so it doesn't matter too much. And there we go, I managed to get something. And uh, yeah, here we go, it is night. And oh no, look, Squid's got a whole load. Oh, Squid has got a blaze rod. He did get a blaze rod from somewhere. Oh, and I got, I got gunpowder. Oh, is that a creeper right behind me? Oh, that could have been dangerous. <laughs> right, let me try and steal the gunpowder. Oh, there, it didn't even drop any there anyway. <laughs> right, so I got gunpowder. And then I've got so I got a ghast here as well. So let's try and get a killer zombie uh, and a skeleton and uh, an enderman, I guess. And here we go. There's a skeleton down here. I can go and take out this fella, hopefully pretty easily. And now I've got my iron sword. Come on. Oh, God, I'm actually getting pretty hurt here. I do want to be careful. And uh, oh, he dropped an arrow. Ah, yeah, and bones and bones as well. So let me go and grab one of these bones and I can go and put that away as well. And here we go. There's a zombie over here. There's also a creeper, right? I've got the gunpowder. I don't need to kill the creeper, but once again, I don't want it to kill me though, so I'm probably going to have to try and take it out. And look, there's rotten flesh. Can I grab the rotten flesh? There we go. Oh, and let me pick up the gunpowder as well, just in case Squid needed it. Right, I'm doing good now. I'm doing okay. I think Squid's still a little bit ahead, uh, but I'm not doing too bad. I think the tough one uh, is going to be finding the, the Enderman, I guess. Right, so let's go and put the, the new stuff down here. So I got the rotten flesh goes in there, and there's the bone. So also, I need a spider eye as well, don't I? So I need a spider eye and an ender pearl, and that's all I need from the surface. And then I can just go and and uh, head back down under uh down to the never and to go and try and take out everything else down there so uh, let's go looking for uh, spiders and ender um, ender men uh, so there's a skeleton no not a skeleton sorry a spider over here I think I can see uh, just hanging out in the distance so uh, I don't want string oh, all I want is the um, all I want is the spider eye and there we go I managed to get a spider eye as well so all I need is an ender pearl and then I've got everything I need in the surface so rather than going back and putting that down I'm going to go for a, a little bit of wonder uh, for a wonder and see if I can come across one. Uh, it's generally good to go into a big open area because uh, then you can see quite long distances to see if there's one there. Let me go and try and uh, make my way out of these trees. I don't want to get lost either though. I don't want to go too far away. And here we go. Can you see any endermen over here? I can't see much to be honest. For a googly challenge, I can't actually see very many googlies. It seems to be uh, rather deserted right now, which normally I would be very happy about. But <laughs> when I'm actively hunting down Googlies, I would uh, prefer them to, to be a little bit closer. Oh, come on, there's got to be an Enderman somewhere around here. They're always there when I don't want them to be there, but I can't see any right now. Hmm, the, the good thing about them is because they're so big, they're so tall and lanky, you can normally see them from, from quite far away. And they also don't burn in the day, so unlike uh, some of the other mobs like the uh, the skeletons and the, uh, the zombies, uh, they burn during the day, but Endermen don't. And so even if it does become day, there is still a chance for me to, to run into one of them. Where are they? Oh, there's another spider down there. I've already got one of them. And oh, I fell straight into a hole here. <laughs> I guess if I did need some more iron, I'm probably not going to bother getting any more iron. I just need to be uh, very careful when I go and uh, try and take out the blaze. And I can't believe, I can't believe how quick Squid managed to get everything. It's actually kind of unbelievable that he managed to find a nether fortress and a blaze like spawner. And he killed the, the gar so quick. He, a he actually kind of amazed me. So <laughs> if he does win, then I guess I can say the better man won. But that is not the attitude that I want to go in for. Oh, look, oh, there's, a, there's a zombie villager here. Hello, buddy. What's going to happen if I... What does he drop? Does he just drop rotten flesh? Or does he drop something different? No, I guess he, he didn't even drop anything there. How selfish. <laughs> uh, so let's go and have a look around here. Because if I do... Uh, managed to, to track down the, the Enderman uh, before Squid does, then that could still be uh, an absolute massive advantage for me because uh, they are pretty rare. And I don't think that he took the time to make an Iron Sword either. And so going up 
uh, against an Enderman with no armor and a, a stone sword uh, can often end up being very dangerous. So <laughs> if he gets taken out and then loses everything he's holding, then uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a, a very big advantage for me, I guess. But where is everything? I, I, I can't see any mobs anywhere around here. This is this is so weird. The fact it's so it's so unbelievably deserted. Like, normally, even if there was an Enderman here, you'd expect to see zombies and creepers and all sorts over here. Why do we do the googly challenge the one time when we're actively, like, only playing to hunt down googlies, and they all suddenly decide to go on vacation? That's not fair! That's not fair for us! We're supposed to be trying to hunt them down! <laughs> Come on, Enderman! Come on, Enderman! What would Enderman like? Uh, we got some... We got some nice jeans for you! Nice, tall, skinny jeans! You'd love these! Enderman. Oh, there's a there's a desert over here. I think someone told me a long time ago that they they have a better chance of spawning in deserts than other place uh, other places. So uh, let me go and have a, a quick wander around the desert in this area, I guess, and I can see if I can come across one. Enderman. Anyone? <laughs> Nothing. Why is the why are there no googlies? I mean, th there was a few, but. Hardly any compared to normal. Right, let's have a quick look across the desert, and then I'm going to start making my way back home because, uh, yeah, it's going to be becoming day very soon, and I want to make sure that uh, as soon as it's day, I can go straight back into the the Never and uh, try going for a for a hunt to see whether I can uh, find the. Um Oh, I need to get the, the magma cubes and the uh, the blaze as well. I still need to get them yet. And no Enderman! No Enderman whatsoever! Nothing! There was one little zombie hanging out around here. Right, let's go and start heading home. I'm going to have a, a quick check on my map just to see, uh, make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Oh, look how far I've gone! Oh my god, I've like crossed like the other side of the world! I did that so quickly as well. I didn't realise how far I wandered. Right, this was probably a bad idea. Let's go and uh, start making my way back home then. I think if I just keep heading in this direction... I should make my way back home. I'm going to try and go uh, across areas I've not been before, just in case uh, there is an Enderman over there that I haven't seen. Well, I'm seeing a few more mobs now, a few more Googlies. There's a Creeper over there, and I saw, saw a few uh, zombies and skeletons in the desert, but no Enderman yet. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a look at... Oh, there's a Creeper right there. Let's avoid him. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a look at Squid's uh, item frames and just make sure he hasn't won, because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't actually be too surprised if he has already. He has done so good. Uh, yeah, and assuming that he hasn't won. Uh, I'm then going to go straight down into the, the nether and uh, go after the, the blaze to see if I can go and get uh, a blaze rod, I guess. So let me go and climb over the mountain this way. Oh, there's a sheep there. There's one little googly down there. They're all about to start burning soon. And so, yep, I, I am heading in the right direction. If I keep just going straight this way, I'm going to go back to our, our lovely little homes. But where are the endermen? Where are all of the googlies? This is so unfair! <laughs> We're doing the googly challenge, but there's no googlies. Uh, but as I said, the uh, the endermen don't burn during the day, which is good, because uh, they're, even though like they won't spawn unless it's dark, uh, they're not going to all suddenly disappear just because it's uh, become day. So you do always have a chance of uh, coming across them in the day. And uh, if I do need to find them when it's uh, daytime, uh, I can go down into a cave because because uh, it's always dark down in caves. There's always a good chance of them them spawning somewhere down here. But it's empty. There's not even many animals around the place. It's really weird. It's It just seems so quiet and deserted. I just feel like I can stand here and go, hello, 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 hello. You know, as if I'm completely by myself. There we go. There's one cow. There's there's one sign of life over here just to prove I'm not in the world by myself. And here we go. There's at least a few animals around here. And look, there's Squid. <laughs> a squid. A squid running around like crazy. I guess he hasn't won yet because he'd probably be staying at home jumping up and down. And he's made himself an iron helmet as well there. I guess he's decided to get himself a bit of iron as well. I reckon he's looking for an Enderman as well. Should I go say hello to him? Should I just go pat him on the back? I think he's got no idea that I'm behind him. He's just looking around like crazy. Let me just go and give him a little tap on the back and run away. Nothing. Nothing. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. <laughs> he's just spinning around. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, he's chasing after me. <laughs> he's chasing after me. Well, let's go and have a look. Oh, no, he has got an ender pearl. Oh, he just doesn't have a spider eye. He, oh, how has he got everything apart from a spider eye? Let me show him my spider eye. Gooey, look what I got. Look what I got. I got a spider eye. <laughs> and he's got everything else that I don't have. Right, let's put the, the spider eye in. So let's go straight to the never then, as I said, and try and get the, the blaze rod and the magma cream.